I'm David Thackham. And I'm Jeff Broder. Welcome to Sports Shorts. This week we'll be discussing men's soccer. Winthrop's coach Rich Pasapanko has brought 11 newcomers to Rock Hill in order to improve on last year's disappointing sixth place finish in the Big South Conference. And what we want to argue is whether he has brought the right people in to help turn this program around. I'll be taking the uh, position that he has indeed improved from 2010, while Jeff will be taking the opposite argument. And basically why I feel that Coach has improved on last year's uh, disappointing finish is that he's brought in so many newcomers, 11 newcomers from 2010 to 2011, that have scored 10 of Winthrop's 11 goals as as of far this this season. That's true, but the numbers don't lie, and they've only scored 11 goals. They've scored 11 sh- goals through eight games, whereas they've scored 20 goals in their entire season last year. That's true, but they've also been shut out in five straight games, so they're not really scoring goals this year. They have hit it. They have hit a drought, but that is coming. They need to find their way. This year and last year was re- were and have been rebuilding years. They uh, have been rebuilding years, but thirteen people from 2010 left. That's true, and that's sixty percent of their goals from last year. Yes. So they have to make up that sixty percent with these newcomers, which and that's is kind of asking a lot. But they have stepped up to the plate. They have, but they're still not winning games. They're, They're still unde- not scoring goals. When you're undefeated at home, that makes the fans feel better. True, but look at the teams that they played at home this year. They played, basically the combined record for these teams were 8-15-3, and, and one of those wins came against Brevard, which is 0 The punching one. bag. The punching bag of the conference. So that's kind of a give me, give me win right there. The, Brevard is not part of the Big South Conference. The Win, Winthrop players have been featured uh, numerous times throughout this year. The freshmen have been noted as one of the best uh, freshman classes of the country. Akeem Matthews has been mentioned on College Soccer News for his performances against George Southern. Alex uh, Manchev and Mel Matutu uh, were able to win the season opener all by themselves, them both being newcomers to the program and they were able to beat Brevard in, in their 2-0 no win. It's true. They're newcomers. They do have a lot of potential, but I don't think this is going to be their year. I think a couple of years down the road, they will, be, they will be better than they were. But this year, they're just, like you said, it's a rebuilding year. I think we can all agree with that, but what we have to look at is, has Coach brought in the players to do the deed? And I think so, because if you look here... Mikel, Mikel Casawana, who is the leading uh, shot taker of 2010, has been doubled in, in productivity by newcomer Alex Manchev, a junior. Casawana's 129 shot percentage has been now doubled by Manchev's 273 shot percentage, and Manchev has scored three goals from just 11 shots, so you can tell that they're getting more clinical with their finishing. They are improving... But their shot percentage is still only 131 this year. And I do think they will be able to be better. And maybe this will pay off in the long run. But as of right now, they just clearly aren't that good. It's a shot, it's a shot percentage that has doubled from last year. Last year's shot percentage being 0.078 to this year being 0.131. And you just, it, you know, that doesn't score you goals, shot, uh, but a- any time you give a crack at the goal, that's going to give you a better chance at, at, at winning. That's true, but they're not putting the ball in the net right now is what it comes down to. They have improved their goals per game uh, capita from, one po- uh, from 1.08 to 1.32. So we, we do have to look at the, how young the season is. There's only been eight games. We have a lot of the season to play yet. We have not gotten into conference play. That begins on October 1st against High Point. And that will truly test the mettle of this team. I've had a number of people tell me that it's coming. It's coming. We just need to find the rhythm. And that will and that will come. And, you know, we just have to hark back to, has he brought in the players to do the deed? And I, and I believe that with the 
percentages and with the stats that they have been able to bring in and make an impact on this team that he has. Well, when they start putting wins on the board and they start scoring goals, then maybe I will agree with you. Right now, I'm going to disagree with you, though.